Good evening, everyone. A fractured relationship and a lot of bad feelings led up to this dangerous incident, one that authorities say could have injured or killed many people. A vehicle burst into flames under a carport at a Riverside apartment building, but this was no accident. One suspect appeared to be a male that was involved that had placed the fuel can in the back, uh, uh, the explosive device in the back of the vehicle, and there was another suspect that appeared to be a female that had thrown an incendiary device. It happened early Saturday morning, April 2nd, at a complex located on the 2700 block of Atlanta Avenue. The victim told investigators she had her suspicions about who was responsible. One of the victims that was there on scene uh, through interviews had stated that there was a male that uh, she was associated with that had essentially a hobby of making explosive devices. Police quickly located 27-year-old Carlos Octavio Orta and took him into custody. Um, it was his ex-girlfriend. We learned later on that uh, she had a current boyfriend that he did not like, and that was the vehicle that had uh, been involved in fire. Surveillance video shows Orta putting a homemade gas can bomb inside the car, then walking back to a waiting vehicle. But it doesn't go off. After the explosive device malfunctioned, uh, the suspect pulled, then proceeds to pull out an incendiary device out of his backpack and hand it to another individual that was on scene with him, uh, later seen in video surveillance, walking up to the victim's vehicle and throwing it into the back seat. And that incendiary device, come to find out, was a Molotov cocktail. That individual later identified as Orta's current girlfriend, burning up his ex-girlfriend's lover's car. Investigators identified and arrested Daniela Nunez. A third woman was also arrested for allegedly helping commit the crime. She's been identified as Alexis Garcia. The bomb squad was able to safely dismantle the device after it was discovered by firefighters. They had come to find uh, that there was a device located in the back seat of the car that was humming. Um, it had detonated with a detonator. Um, however, it did not explode because there was something uh, among the device that did not go off. When authorities searched Orta's home, they found bomb making materials and illegal weapons. Orta later pleaded guilty to three felonies, including making an explosive device. Carlos Orta is awaiting sentencing. Daniela Nunez has been charged with four felony counts. Alexis Garcia is facing one felony count for conspiracy. Incredibly, no one was injured in this ordeal. Reporting at Fire Station 11 in Riverside, John Finolio, KTLA 5 News.